Boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, got a bit of Bleach Immortal Soul up today. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, as a lot of people noticed, I completed Halloween Nemu um, over the over the past event, you know, through the Bur uh, Burn the Witch event. I managed to get the time tokens that was needed to actually get her weapon and, and i also managed to bring her up to five stars she was originally four star so anyway i have now introduced her into my main team she is now oh the flood she's now the the uh basically the sixth member of the team now uh, i've replaced um uh full hollow witch go uh taking him out uh, and put her in his place so we've now got uh the back line is uh, tensa zengetsu dan guy ichigo white ichigo Frontline is Zazzy for his revive, Ilrakor for the shield, and then Nemu for basically killing everybody. Um, so that's the current, uh, you know, staple of the team. And as you can see, I've got her up to five star. I do have her broom because I got the broom in the last event. So we just need to go through and do a few things. I need to uh, uh, pop around on her. So let's go ahead and talk. So uh, everybody noticing that wanted to know about the Nemu story, I guess. <laughs> so. I'll go ahead and give you the Halloween Nemu story and what happened with the character and why she is the way she is now. Okay, so now, uh, Nemu was the first Halloween character that Bleach came out with uh, for the Halloween event. It happened shortly after the travel uh, Halibel event. Um, it, it, for me, at the point, I was exceedingly depressed. I got like 34 out of the 70 shards it was needed for Travel Halibel. So, I, of course, did not get her. I was not going to use Lies Her, don't get me wrong. Uh, I just like to try to get the event characters when they come out, just so I have them in case uh, in the future do want to enter them into the team. But I had no plans to use her, but I was still sleeping depressed because it went really bad for me. I got virtually nothing out of that event. I mean, I walked away with a big eggshell. So it was uh, uncool. And then the Halloween event came out uh, for Halloween Nemu. Um, it was a pretty nice event. I mean, it was a standard. It was really a... You could tell it, they'd taken a little bit of time to actually make some levels. You had levels where you would jump through um, a graveyard, you know, open up the tombstones to get rewards, and, you know, like a little maze type thing. So it was fun, you know, it ha had a good time doing it. Uh, but I, I got exceedingly lucky, guys, on the draws. I mean, I was like banging fives and tens <laughs> on each draw. Uh, so when the event was finally over, I had just enough to actually get the character so I got Nemo nowhere near her broom of course but uh, I did get her and I got some time tokens uh, for the shop as well so it was a really 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 good event and it restored my faith in the game because I was really depressed after the travel hell of the event I was like thinking about like man do I want to continue going with this uh, you know how it was you know how it is when you've had a really really bad luck over a course of like a seven, <laughs> two weeks almost. So, uh, no, so I got Halloween now. So I was really happy. Um, of course, at the time, uh, she was broken. She was not broken. <laughs> That's what everybody was saying. Now, I'm going to tell you what I was told by several of uh, uh, people that I talked to. Uh, these the guys that I spoke to are basically whales. These are the guys who spent the like fifty to sixty bucks that it takes to guarantee to get the character, and guaranteed to get that, that character's a weapon out of the store for awakening uh, in all of the events. So th they basically spend like fifty. To, that's usually what it takes is roughly between fifty to sixty dollars um, uh, to get both the character and the weapon. Uh, not the free one, of course. The free one everybody gets, but I mean they go for the character that's what we consider the buy character and it usually takes between 50 to 60 dollars to get the character and its weapon uh so they had you know they loved nemo so they were like on this instantly <laughs> halloween nemo uh because of the cool outfit and everything uh so they had gotten her and they basically told me um it was a meh uh basically her rage skill was basically they termed it as a meh skill it just didn't work very well um, but it wasn't broken. It just functioned exactly like it said. And if you look at the skill inside of uh, the actual, the skill that uh, I always say, I don't know why she does all this damage. It's a mystery. It's not. It's Witch's Contract is the skill. Um, it's what happens on her rage skill. Uh, it's called Witch's Contract. It's the, where the enemy 
uh, round starts, consume one stack of witch's contract on targeted enemies. Now, it's a rage skill, and her rage is a column, so she hits two characters, okay? One in front, one in back, okay? And they will receive damage equal to 1.2% of Nemu's max hit points for every 50 rage they have, respectively, and also heals the ally with the lowest hit points for 0.6%, of Nimu's max hit point, and when Nimu dies, all the witches' contracts end. So, um, it's only uh, it's a skill that's only active while she's alive. Now, if you look at this, if you look at this, one point two percent, point six percent. That's not a lot. That's point six. Uh, that's a, a minuscule amount. One point two, another minuscule amount. So the ones that I talked to said that it was not broken. It was functioning exactly like it was supposed to. It just was a mess skill. It wasn't a very good skill. Okay. And then somewhere over the space of 24 hours, that changed from a mess skill to being a broken skill. <laughs> it was broken, basically, was what everybody was saying. Now, you have to understand something from the developer perspective. They make their money on event characters. They make their money on the people who are willing to drop 50 to $60 to get every event character that comes out. That's why they have, in events, they have two characters. A free character for the free-to-play players, and then a paid character, which is a character that's generally just a smidget little bit better than the actual um, standard free event character. But it, that's all subjective. It, like, for instance, in Burn the Witch, Everybody was considering Nini to be better than Noel, basically because Noel was just a damage dealer and she had nothing else to the team, while Nini does crit chance, healing, and stuff like that. So she had, does multiple things, so she's more of a team character. Okay, so, but now Halloween Nimu was the only character in that event. So the people who got had to spend 50 or $60 to get her and get her weapon, which was her broom. Uh, so... The devs are like, you know, in a state of panic because this is how they make their money. If, if people aren't going to be spending money to get their characters, then they're, you know, <laughs> this game's going to dry up. So all of a sudden, uh, she's fixed. They just say that they've they've fixed Nemu. <laughs> so everybody's like, you know, the ones who knew is like fixed, but she wasn't broken. So they assumed that they had changed the skills. When they went in and looked, and they hadn't changed the skills, <laughs> everything still said exactly what it said before. But she went from being uh, a meg character to a total beast. <laughs> and she literally eats uh, attackers alive right now. So uh, I, I think what happened was they, what they did was I think they just moved the decimal point, is I think is what happened. Uh, instead of 1.2, I think it's 12%, and instead of 0.6, it's 6%. I think it's basically what they did. Uh, and this pretty much tracks with what I've seen in 1v1, because um, Nemo's destroyed me twice in 1v1, uh, both times with Dangai Ichigo. Uh, my six-star Dangai Ichigo with 36,000 36, more BP than a four-star Nemo without her weapon awakened and I got killed in four moves. I understand Dan Gaich goes at attack a red uh, Nemo's a blue support. Red beats support. Red beats blue. Attack beats support. Uh, red has the elemental advantage over a blue character. That, none of that mattered. In four, I was dead in four moves. <laughs> uh, and and that's because of Witch's Contract. Um she yeah i went from three quarters health down to virtually a sliver and i died from uh the next round when it immediately started i just fell dead uh so and she was like at three quarters health so uh that that tracks those numbers track and i think it, i think it's i think it's i think it's 12 and i think it's about six percent is what they did but they didn't change that because they couldn't say that because the character was not free work the character was fixed because she was broken, even though she wasn't broken. <laughs> so that's what does it. So Witch's Contract, um, uh, just understand that, yeah, it sounds like meh on paper, but once you actually put it in there, it is, uh, it's a total beast. And she eats attackers. Any character with high rage um, is going to get totally eaten by her when she procs her rage skill. Um, so I put her in my team. I've noticed it almost immediately. Um, battles that I normally lose in the arena, uh, and I'm 
consistently lose, I now win. Uh, not only win, I win with everybody alive. Uh, and I've seen that, that happens on a, a consistent basis. Um, the tour challenge is a lot easier. Uh, ever since I put her on my team two days ago, I've uh, usually the tour goes for me. You have five chances. Um, I usually have to use two or three of my refreshes because where I'm at right now, uh, I'm above the mid-level characters. I'm right. I'm right in between high level and upper high, upper mid-level. Uh, I'm in that area there, that little gray area where you're not quite strong enough to beat the super high power characters, uh, but you're beating everybody else. But I, I'm sort of recognized in the tier as a super high character, so I'm going up against super high characters all the time. Uh, they're actually the ones that I killed who are above me in power is usually what I'm facing. And I I, I usually have probably, I, I, more than half the time I end up losing, so I usually end up having to use a couple of my uh, refreshes on this. Well, ever since I put her on my team, I've been up against, going up against those same people and I have not had to use any refreshes. I've been able to shoot through them straight, won them all. Okay, so that's how much of a difference it's made. So I am much stronger. Uh, now, she is purely a PvE PvP character, okay? Using her inside of uh, the, you know, the boss for the squad. No, no, she's a blue, okay? So it, she can help inside of there, if you, but, you know, her real staple is going to be uh, PvP. If you can get her to four star, you should definitely, even if you don't got a weapon, you should definitely want to uh, check into your team formations uh, uh, formations and put her in. Uh, see, now I've got her uh, in Battle Arena. I've got her in my center. She is now my center character. She replaced that. Okay. Now this is not uh, this is not what pops up for me uh, in. Uh, uh, this is what I've got currently. Okay, this is what pops up for me. Okay, now I've got her at five star and she's awakened, so it's useful to me to stick her in there just because she does pretty good damage. Otherwise, um, so and she's a good support character and she, she she's very tanky uh, because uh, she gets you know gets healing and stuff, uh, and she offers healing to the lowest character that helps immensely as well too. The lowest character hit points is one that gets the heal, so it's a targeted heal. Another very good plus um and that so but if you don't you can put it right here because that way it'll rage out her skills so you can get a little bit of that benefit from that uh, i have um anniverse rich go there because he increases the damage uh that my back row does he increases my attacker damage so he rages first immediately when i have the highest initiative these guys get buffed okay so they're so my first round of attacks is much more is much more powerful these are you know because these guys um, immediately rage all three of these immediately rage dragons always immediately rage but even my white edge immediately rages uh, he just does he sometimes rages twice <laughs> it's ridiculous he like rages all the time uh, the amount of rage he does is ridiculous um, so so uh, he's really the He's the first generation character. He's the, in my opinion, he's the best Gen 1 character out there. Um, these guys are all Gen 2. Okay. Um, Irokoro was one of the first Gen 2s. Uh, then Tensa, then, then Daige. Uh, these were all Phase 2. What I mean by it is they were in the second level of characters that they introduced. Um, old, old school characters, first Gen, they're still functional. It's just, these are just slightly better just a little bit more damage, a little bit more oomph in their skill set, but nothing that makes a super, super difference. Like, you can run through this game with a, with Gen 1 characters without a problem, um, as long as you keep them leveled up. Max level, of course, max skills, of course. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so he's what I use. This is the back row, so he buffs it. Uh, but yeah, what, what, so what happens is the two that she's attacks, uh, the two attackers, whichever row she focuses on, uh, what I'm generally going to be an attacker, the back row attacker. It's a column, so it's a front and a back character. The back row character is pretty much going to die. Okay, and then a lot of the teams you go into PvP, they actually put attackers in their back and front row. So both of the characters are going to die. <laughs> um, so basically, you're getting rid of two characters uh, on her first rage. She takes out two of the characters. Okay, so uh, 
So that's why I have her in there, and I have noticed that it's it's been immediate. I knew it was going to happen because I started facing teams uh, that I'd normally been beaten before, but suddenly when they had a uh, Halloween Nemo in their skill in their team, I noticed that sometimes I would actually lose. Um, I went from beating them every time easily to actually fifty percent losing. Uh, so I knew that she definitely had a team viability. I just wasn't sure how much uh, until now, and I'm positively sure about that. So I think that I think the skill set reading is a little wrong. She's one of those characters that on paper looks like meh, but when you actually apply her, uh, she is a beast. Okay, she she dominates one v one. Okay, um, I, I know I found that out twice with my damn guy Ichigo. Uh, just. I thought the first time might have been a fluke, but again, it wasn't. The same thing happened the second time. Uh, but um, it's really hard to get the 1v1 match because, uh, you know, I have to come up with a four-star. Not everybody has her. She's an event character. Um, but, yeah, so definitely if, you want to, if you're definitely unsure which event character you want to focus on, I would consider doing her. She's definitely worth it. And she is in the event shop, so you can get everything that you need for her inside of there. Unlike the Burn the Witch characters, which will never be put in here due to, due to rights, uh, Nimu is in here, as is her broom. Okay? Uh, so I would definitely consider her one of the characters that you want to get up, uh, as I think she'll be a viable team expert uh, with her heal and with her uh, with the superior uh, uh, attacker, call her attacker killer, basically, because that's what she does. Uh, anything with high rage is going to, uh, it's not going to, uh, generally not going to be alive or going to be to the point where they'll die very quickly afterwards one hit after that uh yeah on, on the first round so that's why she's uh, that's why she's considered op um and, and it is perfect there but it's her witch's contract is the skill that does it for those that were curious so that's the story so she wasn't broken uh just had a mess skill set uh that developed in a panic fixed her but the basic i just think they moved the decimal spot over <laughs> one slot one, one slot to the right, uh, and that's what they've done. And that's it. it went from making her having a mass skill to a total beast. Um, but she's, you know, she's an event character, so we expect event characters to be better than regular characters. That's just why they pay money for them. Uh, but yeah, you have to understand, uh, you know, when it, when it went from she was uh, not a mad character to a broken character, they get pretty upset because, you know, people are not going to buy event characters if they're broken or if they're not working right. Uh, so they had well, they had their excuse to actually do something to her, and the result is we've got a really really good character out of it. Uh, so you definitely what you want to focus for. So I moved her into the team, and doing. I'm mean, still working on Ninny. Okay, um, uh, I probably uh, she'll uh, you know I, I don't think she's going to go into the main team. Uh, I, I don't think she's going to be able to unseat Nemu, uh, but she's definitely going to be something that's going to be useful when if and when. Okay, let me just say, if they ever resume the story mode, uh, you're going to need a lot of healing. Uh, so uh, having another character that does a lot of healing will be really nice, because she heals on crits. Uh, and pretty much all of my team do a lot of crits, so I'm going to get a lot of healing from her. So if I'm ever going up against something inside of the story mode where um, I'm just you know not able to survive or last long enough, um, I think she might be the answer to that. So I'm definitely going to bring her up to full uh, and start focusing on her. Uh, but for right now, um, uh, I'm just going to work on getting Nemo up to six stars. Uh, I've already got, uh, I've already taken care of her War Soul uh, uh, right here. I gave her a little bit of depth simply because of the fact uh, that that helps. And then hit points. Uh, understand the, the damage dealt is a percentage of your hit points, so the higher the hit points. So you want to put um, something that gives her high hit points. So this is the perfect war soul for her, uh, along with the crack that increases all characters, okay, including the ones in the bag. So even my characters that I'm not using are getting this buff because it's applied to her, okay? It's, uh, so this is, uh, uh, this is a, this is a, uh, you know, a, what we call combination war soul, which means it requires the shards from another character. Uh, but this character um, is—he's not a UR character, so you should be—you shouldn't have any trouble uh, getting shards for him uh, just over time. Okay, I can't remember his name. Let me see what his name is here. I've got him at seven star, actually, I believe. Uh, it's Hachi. 
uh, SR character. So you should be able to get him. Uh, you want to go through all of your War Souls, guys. Go through your bag. Okay, look at every combination War Soul and make sure you max out any War Soul that has effects that says effect takes of a place even if the character's not in the battle or takes place on all characters in the bag. Okay, once it's applied. And make sure that you do do A lot of those are SR characters or SSR characters and you can get those shards fairly yeah, a lot easier than you can for the UR characters. Okay, so you want to make sure that you do make all of those War Souls and apply them even if it's not a character you're using, you don't need to worry about that. Just stick it on a character, okay, so that you can get the effect that it offers out. Uh, and it'll help your overall BP. Okay, as you can see, I'm at 9 million. Uh, so, I'm getting there. Uh, uh, I'm about, I'm, you know, I, I could use, I can actually use, I, I dropped back, I was 9, I dropped back to 10. Uh, because, um, uh, Sun and Enro, uh, I had a big buff. They managed to get both characters and to get in the thing as well too. But they built them up a lot faster than I did, so they managed to overtake me. Uh, but uh, these guys uh, are, are, are dropouts, which means they will play the game for a little while, but then they'll drop out um, and do something else until another event comes along. They, they, they. Most of the team, a lot of my team, uh, out of the top, out of our top ten here, there's about five or six of us that don't play consistently anymore they have already maxed out their bags and stuff uh, so they don't play much anymore but whenever there's an event they come back get the characters play them up play for a little while until they get bored then they go away <laughs> so uh, so when they love I'll, I'll overtake them <laughs> so like King Souls was originally the the um, actual leader of the guild uh, when we first started out uh, an executioner was second uh, a tinsel was like up in one two or three and as you can see all of these guys um, uh, you know, they, they maxed out their characters and went all the way up. Uh, uh, Mookie still plays all the time. I speak to quite uh, okay. That still plays all the time. Uh, and separate plays all the time as well too. That was really like plays off and on a little bit. But yeah, so these are you know, so these are high level characters. So as you can see, this is about what you're striving for maximum. These are pretty much maxed out bags, maxed out most of all the characters and everything. Uh, so this is what you're looking for. So 1.2 million is the the max limit and that's what you're that's what you you're looking for in terms of uh that i have a high level guild i mean i'm we're on server 100 so we're like people on this or we, we we played when it i we started the inception of the game when it first came out <laughs> so we've been playing ever since then uh so that's why we're a lot higher you know uh in terms of what we get for our things so uh, so that's what you're striving for oh uh, you know, what million would be what you want to look for in terms of that that means that you should have a pretty much high level team uh, and you should be able to do you know complete with most of the uh, the guilds out there they were, were all talking about cross server events and stuff none of that has actually materialized so we don't know where the game's going or what direction it's going in i'm just playing it because i like the ip and i enjoy that and it's something to keep me occupied until uh, the thousand year blood war hits which is going to be in a few months i believe is when it's supposed to, the anime is supposed to uh, start back up and they're going to take care of that final arc from the manga and they're going to put it into an anime so that's going to be pretty cool as well too uh but that so yeah that's why we're playing it so i can get my bleach fixed by playing immortal soul uh so that's where we're at so that's the nemo story she's definitely one of the ones you might, might want to consider uh in terms uh, of expanding your team because she does offer a couple of good things targeted heal and uh, uh basically an attacker killer Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll see the bell. Click on it to get notified each time I drop a, uh, drop a video. Also, like and share. That helps out as well. All right, so this is Ken Rear coming at you from the corner, signing out.